can we have a large language model that self corrects currently large language models can take a feedback and do reflection that's like an iterative process but during the process of text generation can it self reflect or can it self correct and that's a question a lot of people have been asking and to probably it seems like we might have an answer for that completely a different kind of an architecture for a large language model rather than the one that we are currently using now if you see this current demo that is from a paper or a technique called sequence match as you can see the prompt orange color is given and based on the prompt a blue color text is generated but whenever you see an injected noise the red color text now you can see that there is a back space action a backspace action that goes back and deletes the noise or takes the model back into the track of generating coherent content instead of letting the model go away from the distribution and then generate something gibberish so this is this is tremendous this is like absolutely mind blowing research and this is what we are going to discuss in this video where how this is happening and what kind of implications that it can have with the world of large language models that we know of as of today recently there was a reddit thread that was quite popular in fact like everybody was going nuts to see that there was a question somebody had asked and gpt chat gpt when it answered like the movie you are referring to is called wait and then it said oh wait i apologize for the confusion and it fixed itself it might be a one off incident it might be something completely random but this is not necessarily a self correcting large language model this is not necessarily a language model that is fixing its own problem during the phase of inference this is not what is happening here it could be completely random but people went nuts because they thought chat gpt can correct itself in the middle of an answer but that same possibility is real and it can happen in a totally different approach and that's what they're calling a sequence match imitation learning for auto regressive sequence modeling with back tracking what's happening in this model so let's first understand what is a sequence match imitation learning for auto regressive sequence modeling with back tracking so what they are doing in this case is usually your auto regressive generation models like the the models that we are dealing with the large language models they keep on generating new sticks or next word or tokens based on the previous ones but sometimes what it might happen is that completely possible is that it makes one error and then it takes the model with more and more compounding error and then take the model completely the behavior out of the distribution so this is completely possible so because you have one error you have one more error you have one more error it completely goes away from the objective of what you wanted to try to generate in the first place to solve that to avoid that the the authors of this paper have taken a leaf out of reinforcement learning and that's called imitation learning so what they are trying to do in imitation learning is they are trying to minimize the variety of divergence between the distributions of sequence what the model is generating and the sequence from the data set which is let's say human generated so they are trying to minimize the divergence of the model creation and the human generated content that's what they are trying to do and by minimizing it they can um, they can have a model that generates text that is robust to the compound error generating problem but also it can go back and then fix its own problem because they have introduced a new token or new action called a back space action and why am i calling it an action that's primarily because this model is not necessarily generating the next token because this is going to deal with states and action anybody who has seen uh like a very popular let's say probability prediction the like monte carlo simulation uh, you would know this kind of action where uh, you are trying to predict the next state you are trying to predict what might happen next not ne not necessarily what is the word if you see this diagram you would see that this is like a toy model uh, of an auto regressive like a like a large language model that we we see these days our task here is to learn a set of conditional distributions that continue in the similarity uh, as if it is in the data set which is the green color arrow and you want to avoid incorrect actions which is the red color ones so you want to trace the green color ones you want to avoid the red color ones and uh, you want to punish the out of um, distribution ovd sequences so so the method that they have got our method trains against divergence that more heavily punish out of distribution sequences additionally they also introduce a purple color here the dashed one that is called a backspace so whenever you make a mistake that's the red color one the model is supposed to take the back space action and then go back to the previous state so that it can generate a new correct action 
So this way, a model can self-correct itself and you can actually see this here. So it makes a mistake here and it comes back. The backspace action takes the model back to the previous state from where it can generate the right one. You can see this here. And this is the model, like the simplistic version is what is happening at the larger, larger level. So look at the state and the action. So we have, we want to generate text. The text should be something related to apples. This text is generated state zero, state one apples, state two apples are, state three apples are blue. But are apples blue? No, apples are not blue. And that is the place where you want the backspace action and the take the model back again to apples are and then generate apples are green. So the way it looks like the action, the sequence of actions are apples are blue backspace green. And that's exactly what we saw in this demo. If you see here, whenever there is an artificially injected noise, backspace comes into play and then tries to erase it and then gives you the right one, which is closely aligned with the model distribution in itself not necessarily the out of distribution and that's primarily possible also because of a new metric or the metric that's something that they are using called mau way so the metric mau way is trying to measure the gap between neural text or the large language model generated text and the human text using something called the divergence frontiers while we are not going to discuss the detail of that metric in itself that like imagine that the metric is trying to closely align the machine generated text with the data set text or the human generated text. And uh, they've done a bunch of experiments with the GPT-2 model. And you can actually see that the Maui score for sequence match, whatever we just discussed a sequence match, is quite high uh, than using other metrics like a maximum likelihood estimation like MLE score or behavior cloning. So this, this scores at the top. So if you see the overall benchmark, the sequence matching that they've used with the backspace action, um, scores high, like super amazing, like closer to one in Maui score. But if you look at perplexity, it is not the top in terms of perplexity. That's also quite obvious because a large language model is trained to keep or achieve good perplexity, which, uh, which measures the probability of the next token being chosen correctly. But it does bad in terms of Maui score because Maui score probably represents the quality of the generated text that is sampled autoregressively, which is closer to the in distribution or the data set distribution itself. This is completely an, uh, completely a new direction in the way large language models are going. A lot of people have been interested in having self-corrected large language models. People have been trying to use sometimes models like AutoGPT to achieve this kind of, uh, this kind of uh, place. But overall, if you see, um, there is a, there is a backspace action. Um, typically, you know, um, for tokens, large language models, this kind of thing does not exist, but this, I, this, concept, even though I don't know whether people will still use reinforcement learning or imitation learning, but this idea of using a backspace action or a backspace token might lead to self-correcting models, just like this um, Reddit thread where everybody went nuts, uh, even though this is not necessarily that. So it's quite interesting. I wanted to share it with you and then look forward to hear your opinion about what do you think about self-correcting large language models during in-flight? Like it's like in-flight self-correction. Let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, all the required links will be in the YouTube description. See you in another video. Happy prompting.